So when you are creating a hyperdoc that you don't want to collect the whole hyperdoc, you want to collect a, their student responses separate from having to read through all of these, uh, somewhere within the um, engage and explore and explain piece, you might want to add an assignment where you can do a check-in, see how they're doing. So in this portion, in the explore portion, I wanted students to free write their response using a document I created for them. Um, but you know, my document is shared to view only, so kids cannot write on here. And I wanted every student to have their own document that they would then share back with me. If I'm not using Google Classroom, it can be actually linked easily with a forced copy right here in the Google Docs. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's the document that I created for them uh, that I want them to make a copy of, and I want them to type their responses in here. Now I'm going to leave this document as view only as well. So when I have my um, uh, link here, I have it on anyone with a link can view. I do it outside of my domain um, because that way it just makes everything easier. No one's requesting access, but I leave it can view. Now here's the trick. Up in the URL, if you scroll all the way to the end of the URL, you can change the way um, you are viewing. Uh, this. I'm trying to zoom in here for you. Uh, and, and you'll notice it says the word edit. So if you delete the word edit all the way to the forward slash and you put the word copy right there, um, that is going to change how students will view this document. So once the word copy is there, I'm going to select the whole URL. I'm going to go to edit and copy, or you can use command C to copy. And then I'm going to take, go back to my original hyperdoc. And since I said free write your response using this document, I'm going to highlight that and then select the link button, insert link. And from there, I'll just do um, command V or you can do uh, edit uh, paste and put that, um, oops, I didn't do it. Command V, um, there we go. I'll do command V and then click apply. Now that um, students will look at this document, they'll see that it says free, write your response using this document and it prompts them to make a copy. You don't even have to say that because what that what will happen because you use the word, look at the word here at the very end, it says copy. Uh, when they click on this link, look what shows up. This is called a forced copy. So every student who clicks on this, it says make a copy. So when they open it, there's one thing I wanna show you um, at the end, uh, they'll make a copy. Now this copy is in their drive and they can write on it. They have um, all editing access because it's their document. And their only job, you'll see I highlighted in yellow at the top. Uh, the instructions. And again, edit, you know, put your instructions on there however you like. But I did put, be sure to share this document with me when done. This is something that you might want to go over with your students. When they make a copy, the share settings are private only to the students. So they have to click on share. If you want to keep it private, you can. You can go to advanced and change it, that access to uh, on anyone with a link. Um, the other thing you can do is um, add just your teacher's name right here. So I could put um, the teacher's name uh, right here. I can invite people, but this last tip is very important. Remind your kids to uncheck the notify people. Uncheck that because otherwise you're going to get emails from all your students who share the document back with you. When you click OK, you have them select skip sending invitations. And the document is private between you and your teacher at this point. Um, now for you as the teacher to find this document, you would go to your drive and you would um, uh, check uh, shared with me. Uh, and that's how you'll find all these documents. Um, and that is one way to have students turn in documents uh, in the middle of a hyperdoc without using Google Classroom.